If you never sold a property and a seller at a listing appointment says, how many properties did you sell? You want to look at him straight in his eyes and say none. And that's why you want me because I'm going to spend every waking hour on just your deal. Your deal is going to be at the very top of my priority list. Now, if you want Mr. 100 deals a year, Ricky, go ahead and go down to his office, look at him right in the face and ask him where your deal is going to be on his priority list. I guarantee you he's not going to be, it's not going to be at the top. And if he tells you it's a lie, he's definitely not going to spend eight hours a day on just your deal like I am. Me as a new agent, I've got a huge advantage over experienced agents. I got time. I got time. See guys, it doesn't matter where you are in your career because some people are like, I'm too old. I don't know tech. I'm too young. I don't have experience. You know, whatever. Whatever you think your handicap is, is garbage. There's always a huge advantage. No matter what stage you're in or what where you are in your life, there's always a huge advantage for you to crush everyone. So that's my vehicle of personal branding to once I create this great first impression with someone, they come into my email database and then they never forget who I am. Every email that they get every week, that feeling comes back to them like that great first impression. Ricky's a great person. He's a hard worker. He didn't pressure me into buying or selling. He's here to help me. He's here to help me. He's here to help me. That's the feeling they get every email that, that I send out. Another reason why the email works so well for me is because I actually spend a little bit of time on it. It's not automated. and. I put my opinions on stuff in there. Here's the market stats. Here's what I think about it. Here's a great new restaurant in town. I went there and ate there. Here's what I think about it. Here's a new development coming in town. Here's what I think about it. When you start giving your opinions on stuff, that's when people really start tuning into you. All the automation stuff and all the generic content stuff and all the national stats stuff that you're sending clients and all that stuff. Here's what I want you to do if you're sending recipes. Send out a recipe and say, I made this last week week and it was amazing and and here's a little here's a little secret that they didn't put in the recipe I think you should try this boom they just don't know quite how to you know get out of the rut because they've just gotten into these routines where they're doing the same thing over and over and over again and they're just not really taken to another level I mean you have to get out of that you have to get out of that rut you have to get out of that same routine there in order to to take it to the next level we get comfortable you know we're in a place where we feel like that we're putting in the work we just need to be patient and so we get in these routines and we just keep doing the same stuff creating the same results just thinking oh if I just keep going and just keep being patient now that is part of it the consumers are moving back towards relationships somebody that they know they had a friend in the business that's the most common answer we're hearing now okay how did you pick your agent I had a friend in the business even people that find deals they're going back to their trusted real estate agent to help them through that deal even if they found the deal even if it's for sale by owner I'm having my clients reach out to me and say, hey, please represent me here on this for sale by owner. Or, you know, this agent brought this to me, but I want you to represent me and stuff like that. And it's going to continue to be the trend.